Good evening and welcome to Tuesday Compline. I hope this evening finds you well, but whatever kind of a day you've had today, let's just try and put that aside just for a few minutes. Concentrate on your Heavenly Father. Take in his peace and his love and remember that he is with you always. So let's just have a moment of quiet as we gather our thoughts tonight. And tonight we're doing the Order of Compline that looks like this if you have paper copies. It's the traditional Anglican one, which doesn't make it bad. <laughs> the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed in what we have failed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, that you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight I'm looking at just one verse from Isaiah 40, verse 8. And this is what it says. The grass withers, and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. When the Babylonians were holding God's people captive, Isaiah offered them comfort with this prophecy. But this verse was not written only just for the people of Judah thousands of years ago. It is the recorded word of God and one of the main ways that he speaks to each of us today. God's word is living, reliable, everlasting and never failing. And don't we need some of that in these days? No matter how much this world changes, the truth of God's word never ever will. And no matter what season of life that you're in, God has something to say to you asking to give you an open heart to receive 
whatever he wants to reveal to you through his word. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O oh Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal, <coughs> excuse me, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O oh Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Let's bow our heads as we pray tonight. Father, it's with a heavy heart I pray for all those souls that have been lost to coronavirus in the UK, in England over the last 24 hours. 1600 plus. Father, I pray for all of those people who have passed this time. Father, I pray for their relatives, their friends. I pray for the staff who were with them at the end. Father, we ask with this whole horrible insidious virus that you have mercy. Father, make us strong. Give us courage. Give us courage when we need to leave the house and the strength to stay in the house. Hear our prayer, Lord. Heal our wounds. Wipe away our tears. And Heavenly Father, we pray for the rest of the world. We're all being ravaged by this horrible virus and yet there are some places because they're poor, they're poorer countries. They aren't getting the virus, they aren't getting the vaccine for this virus. Father, we pray for those places equally in need equally in pain, just not equally financially stable. And Father, we pray for America, for the inauguration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris tomorrow. Father, we pray for peace, we pray for healing, we pray for a moving forward. Father, return joy back to that country instead of hatred. Return happiness instead of fear. And let's just in a moment of quiet lift ourselves up to our Heavenly Father for all that we face.
visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessings be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you and please stay safe.